Karen Valencic here. Today's topic is how do you know when it's time to part ways, whether with a person or an organization, which sometimes those are one and the same. It can be really tricky to make those decisions. So I'm going to provide you with six things to consider before you make that decision. And if you consider these truly, you will make a better decision. And if you decide to leave, you'll have clarity. If you decide to stay, you will perhaps be able to, to change your situation in a way that's really positive. So before I get into those six things though, I'd like to just proceed those by saying, you know, I have spent most of my adult life, professional life, um, involved in studying and teaching conflict mastery. Many years ago, I used to think if I really am good at this, I can make any situation work. And that is just not true. And why would you wanna do that? Because what we wanna do is be in a situation where we can contribute our fullest and really feel alive in the process. Now, on the other side of that, we live in somewhat of a cancel culture. And so if you're inclined to, to get in a situation that's difficult, Instead of bailing out, I suggest to you for two reasons, to hang in there. Because when things are difficult, that is when we grow the most and experiment with different things that you can do. These six things will help you with that. And what I have noticed, if people bail out too soon without doing their own personal work, they will find themselves in a similar but different situation um, in the future. And so at some point you're going to have to address these things and you might as well do it now so the next place you go you don't have to repeat it. I love that saying, wherever you go, there you are. <laughs> okay, so let's get into these six. Number one, and you know, I, every one of these I want to say this is so important, but each one of these is, is really, really important. So number one, have you done some self-reflection in terms of what's your part of this. And so what do I mean by that? Like, are you in a job that you've got one foot in, one foot out? You're not really totally committed. You're not totally showing up. And so you, you feel like angst about that. That's on you, really. And, or maybe another thing, you might, be, you might be putting up with some stuff. You might be codependent where you're allowing some behavior um, you're taking it on and it's not stuff you really own. And that, again, that's on you. That's when you need to learn how to set boundaries. So, so what's your part of the situation? Keenly important. Number two, have you thought about and communicated how the situation impacts you without blaming and making everybody else wrong, without being the victim, okay? So what do I mean by that? It could be, you know, I, I'm just not feeling challenged. I don't feel like I'm growing in this situation. Or maybe it's I'm feeling just way overwhelmed because I keep getting stuff piled on me. Um, maybe I don't feel visible and you know, maybe I don't have a path. But communicating those types of things with the other person, your supervisor, or if this is a personal relationship, really important, but make it again about how does it impact you? Don't make it about their wrong. Make it about this is my experience and this is what I want. So that's number two, which leads right into number three. Number three is have, are the people, is the other person, are they interested in exploring and having dialogue with you about this? Or do they kind of keep wanting to avoid talking about it? Because if you don't have a willing participant to negotiate these things and talk them through, there's an answer for you right there. You need to move on, <laughs> in my opinion. Of course, there's lots of gray here. So that's number, that's number three. Number four, number four, and perhaps this should have been number one, safety. Do you feel safe in this situation psychologically? emotionally, physically, safety is so keenly important. If you don't feel safe, do something now. Do something now because there's, there's no willing, you know, physical is an emotional and, and, and 
um, psychological, those are all keenly important things to take care of yourself. Number five, have you thought through whether you and this person or people or organization are aligned in your values and your intention? This is so, so very important because values are something that you don't want to change. And intent, that's about your life. Now, if you haven't thought about what your values and intention are, I suggest that you might take some time reflecting on that. And this difficult situation may help get some real clarity in terms of what your values are and what your intent is. I, I explore these things in my book, Spiral Impact, The Power to Get It Done with Grace. Um, if you want to pick up a copy, hey, self-promotion there. But um, it, really important to get clear on that. And if you're in a place that doesn't, that's not aligned with your values, then that, that's a real clear message right there. And, in, and when you move on to other things, it's really an important thing to explore beforehand. So number six, have you talked this through with a trusted advisor? Someone that does not have a dog in the fight. It's likely not your significant other. <laughs> it's someone that is willing to sit back and really hear you and ask you open-ended questions to help you process through this. This is not someone that's going to say, I think you should do this or do that. Because at the end of the day, you want to make this your decision. And when I coach people, I always I ask questions. I don't tell them what to do because it's ultimately your decision to stay or to go, to part ways, take a different path, whatever. So those are the six things. I'm not going to repeat them because you know where the rewind button is. So when my eyes get slammed open that it's time to part ways, I make sure to slam, not to slam my heart shut to the other people involved. So a word to the wise, um, you don't have to burn bridges. Do any kind of change with power and grace because you never know where things will lead to in the future. So, you know, attacking the other person, you know, this is, you know, this is about you and you making good decisions for yourself. Um, so, you, and again, I've lived long enough, I've, I've seen it, you, you never know where things come back to. And also, keep in mind, and I, I've, I've had some changes in relationships um, the, last couple, the last year, and I have to say, it hurts, it's grief, I cried, it's hard. Um, even if it's something that seems really obvious, it doesn't mean it doesn't, it's not hard and it doesn't hurt. So give yourself a good cry, do some journaling around it, and then, um, you know, dust yourself off, pick yourself up and, and go find something that is a path aligned for you. That's it. That's all I have. I'd love your comments in the, the comment section. And until next time, remember, own your power, but do it with grace. Bye-bye.